Hi everyone, it's Brad Filipponi from BoxBrownie.com. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to create a virtual tour. To do so, I'll be shooting a property using both the Ricoh Theta Z1 and the brand new Ricoh Theta X. At the end of this video, you'll easily be able to see the difference between the two cameras when it comes to building a virtual tour. This is gonna be a fun video, so let's get started. Okay, so let's get this virtual tour started. I have the old faithful Z1 here on our monopod. I'm gonna roughly place the camera here under this undercover area. Then we're gonna walk inside and grab our shot. Roughly gonna stand here. Everything looks great in, in, you know, in, in the 360 image. Um, what's really important is I'm gonna put my option setting onto HDR rendering. For single shots, this is the uttermost important setting you can use. So that's all done. Gonna hit the shutter. The camera's just taking the image. That has been taken. What I'm gonna do now is switch cameras. I'm gonna take the, take, you leave the monopod where it is, take the camera off and just throw on the Theta X. Okay, so the brand new Theta X is on the monopod right now. We're set up the shot, ready to go. Monopod has not moved. We're simply gonna walk back inside capture our shot and then move the camera to the next destination. Doing a quick sort of, you know, breeze by my shot. My option setting is HDR rendering, which is exactly what we want. I'm taking the single shot. Um, this camera has a two second self timer on there, which is not a bad thing for any camera shake. And that is our first shot done. So on the screen right now, we are showing you a virtual tour that was shot with the Ricoh Theta Z1. As you can see, the quality is really, really nice. This photo has been edited as part of this virtual tour um, and the quality is just amazing. Right now, we've just clicked over to the brand new Ricoh Theta X. As you can see, the quality is really, really good also. Remember, this shot has also been edited and please keep in mind that there is a bit of cloud cover outside today. So there could be sort of sunlights and shadowings a little bit differently outside that balcony area. So please take note of that. So as you can see, that is the first shot taken inside. We're gonna take a handful of others and then finish up with another shot outside. So let's get the Z1 back on and take our next shot. Okay, so next shot is our dining, kitchen, living area that does back onto the undercover area we just shot. So I'm gonna put the Z1 down here on the monopod. I'm probably gonna come around the corner here, um, you know, around the side, which is just a really, you know, just a hallway. So that's gonna be a great shot. We're gonna be out of shot, which is most important. Cameraman is out of shot, having a look. Our HDR rendering setting is on, one shot. The camera has captured that image. So now I'm gonna take the Z1 off, chuck the Theta X on and do the exact same thing. Okay, our next shot, Theta X is on the monopod, hasn't been touched. We're just gonna walk around the hallway once again, capture that shot, and then we're probably gonna end up in this bathroom next, I dare say. So having a bit of a scan around. Once again, it's just single shot with our HDR rendering sitting on. That shot's been taken, we're on to the next. Okay, so on the screen right now is the virtual tour shot with the Ricoh Theta Z1. I'm just gonna scroll around this living, dining, kitchen area. I would love for you to be the judge here. Um, as I said before, please take note, the outside uh, is, is, it's a bit cloudy. So you might notice a little bit of difference out, you know, in that window views, um, but that should only be quite subtle. Um, right now, let's switch over to the brand new Theta X. Um, I'm just gonna hover around this virtual tour right now. Once again, you be the judge. Um, these photos are edited, remember? And um, look, very, very good imagery either way you go. Okay, so the Z1 is back on the monopod. I'm gonna roughly place it here over this drain. We're just gonna walk back out here into this area. Since I'm changing cameras, just want to remind everyone the HDR rendering single shot is on. Scanning the room, it looks really good. Three, two, one. That shot's taken. Just gonna change cameras, I'll be back in a minute. 
Okay, so the Theta X is on the monopod. We're just gonna walk out here once again. Uh, my HDR rendering setting is on, thank you for reminding me. Scanning the room, can't see anybody. Hitting that shutter, this one's got the two second uh, timer release. That shot, um, time to do it all again. Okay, so on the screen right now is the video screenshot of the virtual tour, and this one was shot with the Z1. We're just gonna spin this around. This is our bathroom image. And right now, we're gonna switch these cameras over. Let's look at the virtual tour shot with the Theta X. I would love for you to be the, you know, the judge on this. Let me know what you think. I, I'd love some comments below on, on, on this YouTube channel, please. But um, that is the difference right here, shot on both cameras. Um, we've got a couple more rooms to shoot in this house, so let's get onto it. Okay, so it's time to shoot the bedroom area. So, once again, in the middle of the room, roughly, um, got my option setting, HDR rendering is still on, which is great. We're gonna walk a bit further down. I'm just doing the old sweep on my image and, and making sure everything looks right. Just gonna click that image. That shot has been taken on the Theta Z1. Let's change cameras over again and uh, I'll see you in a minute. All right, the Theta X is on the monopod. We're gonna do the exact same thing as we did earlier. We're gonna go out here into the hallway. Um, we're gonna capture the shot and then that will be it for the inside. So now I'm just quickly previewing the image uh, just to make sure we're not in it, to be honest. Hitting that shutter, one, two second self timer. That image has been taken. So on the screen right now is the edited virtual tour that was shot using the Theta Z1. I'm just gonna scroll around this bedroom and you know, let you be the judge of the quality. And then right now, let's look at you know, Rico's latest technology, the Theta X. What's your thoughts on it? I'm just gonna scroll around this bedroom the exact same way and uh, I'd love for you to be the judge. And on that, let's finish up with a really good shot outside on both cameras. All right, everybody, we're outside right now. As you can see, I am squinting. Uh, the Z1 is back on the camera. This is gonna be a really, really great test shot um, just to test the capabilities of these two cameras. Um, so we're out of shot. Um, what I'm gonna do now is just quickly, you know, click our shutter button. That shot's taken. I'm gonna switch cameras and be back in a minute. Okay, so last shot here using the Theta X. Uh, let's get into the shade and out of the way of our, of our shot. Let's walk down here. Looking good. Just gonna have a bit of a scroll round. All looking lovely. Gonna take that shot. And that is us. All right, so here is the virtual tour. This one here was shot with the Theta Z1. I'm just gonna scroll around this you know, backyard area. As you can see, there's some high sunlight contrast and dark shadowing here underneath the home. Um, so please take note of that. And then now let's do the exact same thing, but just looking at the Theta X. So I'm just gonna spin around here. So please take note, this monopod hasn't moved and the sunlight is exactly the same. So each time I took these shots, there was direct sunlight um, you know, in, in the image. So look, you make the decisions yourself. They're the two cameras. The virtual tour link is gonna be in the show notes below. So check it out in your own time. Okay, so there you have it. That is how you shoot a virtual tour. And we have compared virtual tours shooting with the best cameras Rico has on the market right now, both the Z1 and the Theta X. So look, you be the judge. Check out the virtual tour yourself. Let us know your feedback and we look forward to seeing you on our next video.